Elon Musk's first boring company tunnel will open in Las Vegas in 2020, hopefully. The new loop will turn a 15-minute walk into a one-minute ride. Elon Musk is bringing his underground tunnel transportation system to Las Vegas. The city's Convention and Visitors Authority says the contract with Musk's boring company is worth more than $48 million. The company will design and build its so-called people mover to connect the exhibits at the Las Vegas Convention Center. It's similar to the design used in a test tunnel in Hawthorne, California. The project is expected to be completed in January of 2021. But this fundamentally is what we're trying to solve. We've all been there many, many times. We must solve the soul-destroying traffic situation. But building a tunnel, I mean, LA is like the, the tunnel equivalent of Broadway. Um, we've, we've got earthquakes, we've got uh, uh, oil and gas and methane uh, uh, in, in the soil, like there's still drill oil in LA. Um, and you, you've got uh, sort of sandy, rocky soil. Uh, there's uh, about a million regulatory agencies that you have to satisfy. I mean, essentially, if you can tunnel here, you can tunnel anywhere. <laughs> The, the way the loop would work is that you'd have, you'd have main arteries that are traveling at 150 miles an hour, and only when you want to go to, to an exit would you have an off-ramp. So, so you can travel the vast majority of your journey without stopping at 150 miles an hour, and only slow down when you get to your exit. In terms of, of, of uh, stations, these are, the, the intent here is to have many more stations than you'd have in a subway, so at least 10 or 20 times more stations that, than you'd have with a subway. Um, this is also very important because then you can intersperse the stations throughout the city um, and not dump a ton of traffic in one location. So you can have as many tunnels as you want. And I'm pretty sure everyone in the United States is not going to move to LA. But you could literally build enough tunnels to transport everyone in the United States in LA. There is no limit. This is really a small but very important um, element, is having uh, retractable wheels uh, that uh, when, you, when you're driving down the road normally, they retract and go under the car, you don't even see them. But when you get into the tunnel, they deploy and allow you to go through a narrow tunnel very quickly and effectively like, like a little train. We see the Boring Company project in much of the same vein. It is truly unique, it's one of a kind, and it will be a kind of, of event and a kind of attraction that people all over the country are gonna wanna come and see. Motion on the floor, please cast your vote. Motion passes. We're excited about uh, the opportunity with the Boring Company. It's a system that has high capacity, uh, it's innovative, it's fun, we think it'll be a great customer experience. It is certainly less disruptive in the construction process as we go through that, which is important. We want to make sure that our customers are not inconvenienced uh, during this. Um, it'll allow us to move people 
between the halls prior to us uh, finishing the construction and the renovation both, uh, where the other systems would have difficulty doing that. Um, and it's got the potential to be used throughout the destination, uh, which the other systems really didn't. Um, so you add cost into that, and it being the least expensive, um, all of those things came together, and that's, I think, why the panel that we put together uh, to review the proposals made that recommendation. Elon Musk tweeted on Friday that the first commercial tunnel by his startup The Boring Company will hopefully be open for business sometime in 2020. The tunnel will connect the existing South Hall of the Las Vegas Convention Center to the North and Central Halls and the new Exhibit Hall, currently under construction. This will allow convention goers to get from the South Hall to the new hall in a one-minute ride instead of a 15-minute walk. And whether or not it's actually fully operational by December 31, 2020, the Las Vegas Convention and Visitors Authority says the tunnel will be up and running for sure when the Consumer Electronics Show opens on January 6, 2021. Musk, a frequent Twitter user, made his prediction in answer to a question from a fan of the concept who was wondering how soon there might be a boring company tunnel in San Francisco. Musk tweeted back that the company would complete its Las Vegas tunnel before starting on any other projects. As you may remember, this whole thing began as a set of tweets sent out by an impatient Musk while stuck in a Los Angeles traffic jam. The Boring Company has three other projects at various stages of environmental review and legal wrangling, a proposed tunnel connecting Dodger Stadium to one of the Red Line Metro stations in Los Angeles, a tunnel connecting Chicago's O'Hare Airport with downtown, and a proposed 35-mile tunnel connecting Washington, D.C. and Baltimore. The first tunnel to actually be completed as a mile-long test tunnel in Hawthorne, California which opened in 2018 and is being used for testing and invitation-only demos. The Las Vegas Convention Center Loop is only the second boring company tunnel to break ground and the first built for passenger use. In case you're wondering, the Las Vegas Convention Center Tunnel will be a loop and not a hyperloop because it goes only a short distance and will not need a vacuum to reduce air friction. Musk claims that a boring company tunnel is both safer and more affordable to build than a traditional tunnel for a few reasons. For one thing, there is no high voltage the third rail in a traditional train tunnel and no internal combustion engines needed to get people from one end of the tunnel to the other. Instead, the company will use autonomous electric vehicles, Tesla Model X cars specially adapted with alignment wheels to run on tracks inside the tunnel, and a bigger chassis that accommodates up to 16 passengers both sitting and standing. Because the vehicles are autonomous, they won't need to be connected to each other as train cars would. Thus, each car can rise by itself to street level using an elevator platform, which means a station for the loop could be as small as two parking spaces, he says. Maybe someday Los Angeles? Musk is hoping the convention center loop will be only the beginning of a larger system of loops in Las Vegas, connecting the Fremont Street Experience Pedestrian Mall at the north end of the line to all the big hotels on the Strip, to the Las Vegas Stadium, and to McCarran International Airport at the south end of the line. Eventually, perhaps it could reach all the way to Los Angeles. Which by then might have its own loop system. How likely is Musk to make that end of 2020 deadline to have this first loop open for customers? 
He freely admits that there's a difference between real time and Elon time, and seasoned Musk observers know that his timelines have a tendency to get pushed back. In the case of this project, construction was originally scheduled to begin in May 2019 but instead began in November. Now that it's underway, though, there may be good reason to hope that it really will be finished in a little over a year. And that those attending CES 2021 will have a really quick way to get from one exhibit hall to the other. Thanks for watching.